Ben, good morning, everyone. A special message to the onliners. I shall be with you from the downstairs studio in just a moment after the thought for the day. Today, the next missioner is missioner number 18 uh, and uh, missioner number 16, which reads as follows. Rabban Gamliel Haya Omer. Rabbi Gamliel used to say three things. Asay lecha rav, acquire for yourself a teacher. Bistalek min hasafek, and avoid doubtful situations. Va'al tarbeh la'asay umadot. And when it comes to taking the tithes, where one-tenth by law is required, don't do an estimate, not because you might do under, under give or because you might overgive, but just don't do an estimate, do it by actual measurement so that uh, it's, uh, you get the exact amount. It seems, by the way, first of all, let me say that this Mishnah introduces an entirely uh, new way of starting these Mishnayot because up until now, we have had the phrase that such and such sages, Kibel Mehem, received the tradition from their elders. Today, for the first time, we simply have this Mishnah being introduced by the name of Rabban Gamliel Haya Omer. Rabbi Gamliel used to say without the sense that he had been received a tradition. And that is because at this point in time, historically, there is a significant break for reasons which are not clearly understood. But until now, in each generation, the leaders of that generation were elevated by a kind of meritocracy. They were the obvious people from amongst their peers and with the consent of their peers who took the leadership position. But from the time of Hillel onwards, the, um, for about 300 years, the leadership position was not held by meritocracy per se, but by descent. His descendants became the leaders in each generation. So his son was Rabbi Shimon, of whom we know very little. His grandson was Rabban Gamliel, the, the author of our particular Mishnah. Rabban Gamliel then was at the time of the beginning of the, uh, just after the destruction of the second temple. He was the head of the Sanhedrin. Uh, and uh, imp and um, implemented many, many changes within Judaism at that very fraught time. Uh, and he says these three things, which at first glance appear to be both disparate one from the other uh, and also not terribly interesting to us. Yes, get yourself a rabbi, great. Try and avoid doubtful situations. And when it comes to, to tides, make sure that your tides are exact, that you measure them. But what he is really saying is something which is actually very, very important. Remember that, that this time historically was a very, very confusing time. There were lots of sects around. There were lots of different approaches that were emerging. Christianity was just emerging. The early Christians were Jews and they were now beginning to be part of the community, uh, uh, but to lead them in a different way. So Robin Gamliel says, you know, there's two ways in which a person can lead their life. They can either seek a degree of certainty and directness, or they, if you want, you can live in a very confusing world. If you go to uh, one rabbi because um, uh, in one area of your life, you think this person's going to say the things which you want, and then you go to another one for another area of your life because you think that he's going to say the things which you want. By the time you're finished, you've got a mishmash of approaches and of attitudes in, in life, you don't know where you are. You're all, you're all over the place. You're, you're wobbling around. Same thing when it comes to situations of safek. You put yourself in situations of doubt. Why? Try and get certainty. And similarly in relation even to things like the obligation to bring ma'aseh, don't live in a world of assumptions and of, of uh, uh, assumptions and, and, and estimation. Try and get clarity in your world. Try and lead a direct path. Have one person who is your teacher so that you have clarity about your path in life. Uh, try and avoid situations of conflict, of ambiguity, where you simply put yourself in situations of uncertainty. It creates unhappiness. It creates confusion. It creates a lack of direction. In all parts of our lives, seek to be a precise, clear, directed person. That is what Raman Gamliel is saying. Interesting, um, Jonathan Sachs relates that in his first um, private interview with the Lubavitcher Rebbe of blessed memory, uh, he used the, ex the expression as a young man. Uh, he wasn't quite sure of his future and his future paths. There were a number of different options which were open to him. And in this conversation with the Rebbe, he used the expression, the situation in which I find myself. And the Rebbe stopped him in mid-sentence and he said, young men, young men, 
people don't find themselves in situations, they put themselves in situations. <laughs> and indeed, many of us put ourselves into situations of confusion, uh, of chaos, of uncertainty, of lack of direction, and we kind of lose ourselves. And Robin Gamaliel is saying, try in one's life to have a degree of clarity and certainty and directness, you will be a much happier person.